So we're going to look for the longest side on this triangle, which is the hypotenuse. And this is what we need to remember. Square, square, add, square root. So our A equals 12. So if we square that, it gives us 144. And B equals 4. If we square that, that gives us 16. Now we don't know what C is, so what we need to do is add these two figures together, which gives us a total of 160. Then use your calculator, press square root 160, and the answer is 12.6 rounded to one decimal place. You may need to find the shorter side of the right angled triangle. So what you need to remember here, square, square, subtract, square root. So we can't square A, that's what we're looking for. So we square C gives us 196. We square B gives us 16. So now we take 16 away from 196, subtract that, that gives us 180. So we'd use our calculator, square root button 180 gives us 13.4 to one decimal place. So let's recap. Pythagoras' theorem only works for right angled triangles. Now remember the isosceles contains two. So to find the hypotenuse, we use the formula square, square, add, square root. And when we need to find any of the shorter sides, we use square, square, subtract, square root.